Ah, uh, we back. I had to change the battery. Get them in slavery. Go ahead, bro. Verse 41. It says, they cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh by some Yahushad, but he answered them not. So they're going to cry. They're going to know the name of Yahweh by some Yahushad. Because of the power and the great things he's going to do concerning. Israel and they gonna know our power because we'll be giving praise to them. So they gonna know the name of the Yahweh Shah be Jesus. So read that again. This is Psalms chapter 18, verse 41. And this is when they in captivity. Go ahead. Says they cried, but there was none to save them. Even unto Yahweh Shah Yahushai, but he answered them not. So they gonna cry to the Heavenly Father, but he ain't going to answer. See? And that law that we read in Leviticus 25 and 44, let's see if we're going to push the laws in the kingdom. Okay? That's it on that particular verse. Drop that and give me Isaiah the second chapter. Start from the top. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 it says the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. See? This is the kingdom. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh Yahushai's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Yeah, the mountain represents government. Go ahead. It shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Why? Go ahead. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, to the house of the Most High of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. So the statute of commandment, which was given to the nation of Israel, will be taught in the kingdom. And one of the laws in the kingdom is what? These nations, okay, they going into slavery, but the law is, they the ones that's going to be the bond men and bond women. See? But they got to go in slavery for a thousand years. You saw in the Revelation 20th chapter. But the law going to be taught in the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai from Jerusalem. So while they in slavery, they gonna cry to the heavenly Father and Son, but ain't nobody gonna help them. And we're gonna be pushing forth our laws in the people. The whole earth gonna be filled with the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Right? Uh, we're gonna be running, okay? Lord willing, we don't mean to do it to the end. Right? See? Go ahead. So, verse 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Because they're going to be going off. Because the law is not going to be in their inward part. The new covenant is not going to be in their inward part. Okay? The law is not going to be in them like they're going to be in the nation of Israel. Okay? Okay? The law is going to be in our inward part. We're going to know them like that. We're going to be walking by them. Like the Lord was when he was on the scene. He's a walking Bible, man. Right? In the flesh. Okay? To help you better understand, it said the word became flesh. Okay? Go ahead. It says, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So, they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So there ain't gonna be no more war. 
So guess what? With them cloud shares, guess what they're gonna be doing? Farming. And guess who's gonna reap the resources and the benefits? We are! We don't control the resources. The Israelites, go ahead. And their spears into pruning hooks, nations shall not lift up swords against nations. See, there ain't gonna be no more war. There's gonna be peace in the earth. See? There's gonna be peace in the earth. Go ahead. Neither shall they learn war anymore. See? So it's gonna be peace in the earth, man. When the Israels are ruling, man. Israelites are ruling, man. The real ones. Right. You look on the news and see what's going over there on over there in Palestine, Jerusalem, it's war. Right. But they supposed to be the people. Right. Nah, man. Nah. They're deceiving the masses of the people, man. That's why I was saying, speaking on about that uh, payment, paying tribute, taxes. Here we are. We're the royal people of the earth, but we're paying taxes to slaves, we're paying tribute to slaves. That's not It's unheard of, but it's happening to the Negro Latino and Native American, man. Our country, man. But it's going to come back around. I mean, these are gonna get good. They gonna cry to y'all about Shemel and Shot, but we're gonna be doing so much damage, it's gonna be lawful. The most high ain't gonna hear them. See? And when Esau eat them, uh, get hit with a plague, or they die off, the women, their women ain't even gonna weep for them. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna even mourn for them, bro. They ain't gonna even care. See? That's the portion of the wicked. This is wrong there, bro. That was it on that particular verse. Uh, uh, go on. All right, this is uh, verse five. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. See? In the light. See? Go ahead. It's uh, verse six. Therefore, thou hast forsaken thy people the house of Jacob, because they be. That's it on that. Okay. Yeah, that's all I wanted out of that. But the, my point is to prove that a lot of them be pushed forth in the kingdom. Okay? That's what it is. Isaiah the second chapter. Okay? I was going to go somewhere else, but I don't remember that. Hey, I don't remember. I was gonna go somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, give me what you got in Job. Right. 27. This is Job chapter 27, verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man See? with the most high. Yeah, they're going slavery. That's a portion, man. And the future for their children, man. Okay? The future for their children, and it's gonna happen to their children too. Go ahead. And the heritage of oppressors, yep. which they shall receive of the Almighty. Yeah, somebody that's a tyrant. See? Somebody that's ruthless. That's Esau Edom, man. Go ahead. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. See? Put the death. That's the end game for your nation. To be wiped out, man. Because, matter of fact, ain't the word children there? Uh, the next verse. Oh. verse it 14. is for the sword. If his children be multiplied, yeah, 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 it's for the sword. Yeah, come, come. Look up the word children right there. Look up the word children. I want to get something up out of there. Show you
Y'all bear with us, brother Gideon. Uh, the Strong's H, 1121. Bane, he says, son, grandson, child, member of a group. Son, grandson. Yep. That's what you want up out of it. Son, grandson. And it's fun. It's Bane. Where they from now? Yeah, fun. It's really fun. So, read that again. So we are no son, grandson, right? Okay. All right, now read that again. The son is Multiply for the sword. All right, this is uh, Job chapter 27, verse 14. If his children be multiplied, oh, if his sons be multiplied, right? It is for the sword. So if you put the sword to either my son or grandson, what that's going to do? Cut off the bloodline. Because a man carried a seed. That's what fire me so the heavenly father and his son is saying, according to the book of Job, 27 chapter, if the wicked be multiplied with their son, so to speak. Matter of fact, read it again. It says, uh, Job chapter 27, verse 14. If his sons, so like, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. So the heavenly father and his son. The heavenly father and his son saying, look, it is for the sword. So the heavenly father and his son agenda is to cut off the bloodline, right? Or the wicked. That's his game plan. That's part of the movie script. In the kingdom of heaven. After he served his thousand years, right? A slave. His plan in this movie is to cut the bloodline Esau eat them all. Go ahead. It says, and his and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Yeah, they're gonna be suffering. Because of what? They ain't all they ain't gonna be uh so-called wealthy like they are now. They're gonna be in slavery. See? Go ahead. It says uh so that's the but the heavenly father and his son concerning the wicked. They ain't gonna be satisfied with bread and their bloodline will be cut off. Go ahead. So verse 15. Those that remain of him shall be, is that buried? Yep. Buried in death. So any plague that's hit him, so be it. And his widows shall not weep. Matter of fact, look up that word. I don't know, let's look it up. So it's saying, so it's saying, according to the scriptures, the wicked sons gonna be cut off, bloodline gonna be cut off, okay? And it's saying, and it's saying that they gonna be satisfied with bread, and it's saying that they women are not going to what? Weep? Yep. That's the portion of the wicked, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You give the truth, man. You hear them the truth. That's your future. For your bloodline to be cut off, not be satisfied with bread, and your woman not even weep. That all these things are happening to you, to the men of Edom. What you got, bro? Uh, the, the word buried, and it is uh, Strong's H 6912. Covered, and it says to bury. Yeah. Be buried, to be buried. So if you get hit with a plague or be put to death, however it may be, your women ain't in, don't even weep, man. Right? It says to bury. In masses. That's you eat a mic, man. Your bloodline is gonna be cut off, man. The masses of you eat a mic, man. You're gonna be out of there, man. Esau not gonna even exist after a thousand years, man. 
and the conditions that you Edomites going to go through in the kingdom of heaven when we rule it, the way you die in the, in the conditions that you be in, your women not going to even weep, man, for you. You are a loser, Esau. So we're going to face the east. We like to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honor to the elders of Apostle GMS, who rule well. Salute you, brothers, for pushing this word. And truth to see the strength of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters, going and trust the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, too. So with that, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, and Mawafla two thirds. Shalom. Stay strong. Search your scriptures. Pray for deliverance.